A very mild day indeed, uh, starting off into the mid-50s. Now, a normal high this time of year is about 63. We're almost there. In fact, we're expecting temperatures to be about 60 as you head out the door. Getting ready for our back-to-school planner. Yeah, 60 degrees, partly cloudy, sunny at noon with a high of 79. 83 will be our high today. Dare I say hydrate and sunscreen? But um, maybe it's too early for that. No, nah, it's not. All right, um, here's the four things you need to know. It is going to be a very warm day today, the hottest day of the year so far. We are going to see, again, 20 degrees above average, an evening cold front with a chance of shower and thunder shower activity, and windy conditions at times with blowing dust potential into the central basin. 24-hour forecast before you now, and we see that cold front coming in. In front of that is that warm air. We start to see those showers potentially at 5, 6 o'clock, but really the energy looks to be anywhere from 8, 9, 10 o'clock and a chance of a thunder bumper there. Um, that'll move out, and then tomorrow's looking pretty nice. So we're really going to have some pretty fair weather, but cooler weather as we go into this. So our highs today... 83, 81 Coeur d'Alene. We're going to be 83 at Deer Park. Look for temperatures in the mid 80s for Moses Lake. Low 90s for uh, Lewiston, potentially the Tri-Cities. So as we look at our four-day forecast, as we start to wrap up this week, 83 degrees, some thunderstorm potential tonight. Um, we are going to see uh, that uh, cooler air come in with highs of 60 Friday, Saturday, and Mother's Day, Sunday. Overnight lows, look at, uh, look at Saturday morning, 36 degrees plant should be okay but uh, certainly uh, overnight lows of 40 a little better so the heat is on today uh, plan accordingly take it easy outside if you're not used to the heat and again it will cool for the weekend sorry guys who have soccer and softball and baseball it is going to be um, I don't know light layers how about that go to the first alert weather app you'll see all of this there and of course it has hourly temperatures and it has radar you'll see those showers and potential thunderstorms moving in I'm Mark Peterson. Thanks for watching.